Laura Latinsky is a Canadian photographer and author, best known for her still life photos. She's also a professor at the University of Chicago. Her still life photos have appeared in museums, newspapers, and magazines in Canada, Germany, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Texas, Paris, and more from the years 1997 to the present day. Most of Laura's work revolves around food or meals and the mess they leave behind. Laura's work can be classified as descriptive because it offers descriptive visual information about the objects. She photographs mostly still objects and many people would say that the meaning doesn't go much beyond what you see. In my opinion, there's a fine line between descriptive and explanatory because her photos do have purpose and meaning. Untitled number 38 is a photo displayed in 2001 from Laura's exhibit in the Denver Art Museum in Colorado in her exhibition titled Still Life Photographs from the series Hardly More Than Ever. Laura uses a beautiful array of colors to give the photo dimension. The pinks of the napkins to the red of the wine and the other fruits really pop off the background. She also shows the difference between volume and flatness using the objects she chose. She demonstrates the way a meal looks after it has been consumed. I enjoyed this photo because it made me feel the sense of afterness that Latinsky finds important. Untitled number 64 is another photo from Laura's Hardly More Than Ever series displayed in 2002. Latinsky uses a lot of negative space and a recurring white background and surface that she uses in many of her photos. This allows for the few still objects she has to once again pop out of the picture. This is one of her simplest pieces, and the crumbs and mess of this picture signify chaos to me. It's an honest representation of the past. Things are often left behind as a mess and forgotten about. Laura Latinsky's work really inspired me to be interested in still life photography. Before studying her, I thought still life was just a way to photograph random objects, but now that I see that it goes much beyond that.